who's going to start week one? My dad's been steadfast that it was going to be and is going to be Jimmy Garoppolo. And I've been in another in the other camp, Trey Lance. Now Trey Lance has a broken finger. It's not looking so good. How, how confident are you feeling at this time, Dad? Talk you to know, me about confidence. I want to tell you, uh, uh, I'm so confident. I'm already tasting the wine. Yeah. I can, you know, it has a nice, uh, it has a nice bouquet. Yes. It uh, is good on the mid palate. It has a little acidity going down, yeah. which I like, and it has a long finish. So I know you're going to pick me a good bottle. And I'm feeling so confident I'm already tasting it. Now, I'm also handing you a glass because we drink it together. Yeah, I'm already thinking, like, am I going to go to Whole Foods or Kermit Lynch? Am I going to go online? I'm, I'm thinking I, I lost. So let me just no, say. No, no, don't, you don't know what happens. You don't. I don't know. I don't like defeatism. I don't like. Jimmy, I don't Jimmy like could sprain defeatism. his. He could sprain his toe in the in the exactly. in, in a practice. But let, let me, me just say, hold on. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me say why I think I'm a good. Uh, I feel confident about the bet. I have not already won the bet. I feel confident because he broke his finger. That's always a good sign for me. Yeah, it's, now, not for him or the team, news. but for me in yeah. this in the all important bet. So there's that. In addition, I don't think uh, Shanahan gave him enough stuff to do with, you know, with the, with the big guys. Yeah. And I think he's really sort of gotten Jimmy, whatever Jimmy is, he's gotten Jimmy more ready to start game number one in Detroit than he has Trey Lance. That's my feeling. I guess I should have seen this coming. I mean, the, 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 the signs were there. Jimmy got 95% of the reps with the starters in camp. That was a good sign for him. And then when they did let Trey Lance play in the preseason, it was – they made him play Jimmy's game. It was essentially like if you're going to take Jimmy's job, you got to play Jimmy's game good. and you got to do it with the backups. And, you know, if I had known that was going to be the competition, I'd say, well, he's going to lose that. Trey Lance is going to – the only way he's going to play better than Jimmy is if he can play a totally different style which is the style I guess he'll play when he gets in in the regular season. So when it was clear that he took those four sacks in the first preseason game and that's what they wanted to do, it was over. And I think in retrospect, I don't think Kyle ever really wanted Trey Lance to start week one. I think he's had a plan ever since they got him. Um, I don't know why they drafted Trey Lance or if he was their first choice, but since they got him, I think they felt he's not ready. And they pretty much didn't give him a chance to prove otherwise or maybe he's not ready. So, yeah, I, I, I should have seen this one coming. You are a very wise journalist, Dad. Well, here's the thing. I'm considerably older than you are as I'm the father and you're the son. It's true. I've been through these scenarios really a lot of times. And I think coaches generally go, generally go with the more conservative choice. Although that's not what's happening in New England. And we could talk about that later in another segment. But yeah, yeah, I think that's the way it goes. Now, again, Kyle Shanahan could really fool us. And you could be tasting this wonderful wine with a great bouquet and all of that. You know, like D Dietmar Osterman. My, I'd Shout you know, out Dietmar know. Osterman. Yeah. Search the for him from Long Island. Yeah. If, if you don't know, Dietmar Osterman, the regular guy from Long Island, has a wine blog. I think I'm one of the three or four people in America who watches it. I love it. He always talks about Napa Valley Cabernets every every week. And I watch Dietmar and Iggy does too with me. Yeah, he's great. He's great. Dietmar, we love you. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel a little disappointed that uh, it went down like this. I think the main reason that Kyle Shanahan never gave Trey Lance the shot that he deserved is because he watches our show and he wanted you to win this bet, Dan. I think that was the most important factor in this decision. So good for you and good for Kyle. And thanks for watching. <laughs> um, I don't think that's really the reason. I think mm. uh, Kyle is not completely sold on Trey Lance as a starter right now. I do think he's sold on him as the franchise quarterback. I do. Mm. Yeah. But uh, not ready uh, for prime time in two weeks. Now, less than two weeks. Uh, that That's what I think. Um, it doesn't mean this is a vote of confidence for Jimmy Garoppolo. It means it's it's a vote of not ready for the rookie. Fair. Here's what I think, and I don't have much to – here's here's what I think and why. I believe the reports from uh, Mike Silver, Adam Schefter, and Rappaport that Mac Jones was the target when the 49ers initially moved up. He's looking really good so far. Maybe, maybe that will end up being the correct choice, um, but I think that's who they wanted. I think the fan base revolted. And I don't know if Kyle Shanahan changed his mind because of the backlash or if Jed York said, we're not going this route. But when they had that pre-draft press conference four days before the draft, Kyle Shanahan seemed incensed. And he kept saying, I need a starting quarterback. I need a starting quarterback. Well, they didn't draft one. 
they drafted a, a project and they know it. So I, I, I'm, that's what I feel is that maybe it was the second choice for Kyle and he's uh, locked in that this is the, the best way uh, to develop Trey Lance slowly because he's just not ready. Well, we'll see. You know, Iggy, it would be nice someday to know the real story. What went on? Wonderful. There. To, yeah. The backstory, because we, we don't know it. Maybe a few people do know it. We certainly don't know the backstory. I'll tell you one thing, though. There is no way in life that Kyle Shanahan went for Trey Lance because the fan base wanted it. No coach would, would do that. In the organization, there must have been a, a, a split. Yes. But I, don't think he, I don't think he would care about the fan base. And I wouldn't respect him, frankly, if he did. He's the expert. No question. I think the reports from Silver uh, and in particular was that it was it was split, uh, that the front office liked Lance, that Kyle liked Mac Jones. And I don't know how uh, I think Kyle liked Trey Lance, too. Um, but I think if they had drafted Mac Jones, Jones would be the starter right now and Kyle would have pushed for it. But they got Trey Lance. And Kyle, I think Kyle just feels this kid needs a, a different uh, learning trajectory. Development okay. trajectory, and, and uh, given that it seems fair, yeah, uh, it it seems fair to me. And as I say, um, I'm really looking for. I mean, even seeing the label of the of the wine bottle, but you know, things things change. Jimmy could hurt his pinky. Yeah.